Okay, now that we have finished reading our book, we are going to uh, dive right into our lesson for today. Okay, so I hope everyone has a good understanding about what mean is, because your assignment today is going to be, let's see if we can get this moving. We are going to be analyzing um, the scores of a women's hockey team because they're trying to improve their scoring so they need to calculate the average goals they score per game okay so we they uh we have a set of data here they have during six different games their first six games they've scored one goal six goals three goals two goals four goals and two goals okay so I'm going to put you guys together in groups. And what I need you guys to do is I have pre-cut some squares for you. Let me switch my screen, get a little bit bigger. Because we have six different games, we need six different colors, okay? And we know that there are, there's a maximum of, of six goals um, per game. So I have six squares for you guys in six different colors. Now, together, I want you guys to collaborate and work together, and you guys need to determine what the average is of their scoring. So how you're gonna do this is I need you to assemble your squares according to the scores per game. I hope this makes sense. I know it's difficult. I'm going to show you guys a picture from my lesson book so you kind of have a general idea of what you need to be doing with your squares, okay? We are going to be setting up the squares kind of that represents a bar graph. See how they did that? So we're going to use these scores that I have posted right here and I want you guys to assemble pretty much a bar graph representing those scores of those six games, okay? So go ahead and start doing that. And um, make sure you guys use the same color for that one score, okay? We don't wanna get confused here. Now, I'll go ahead and give you guys a minute. Okay, now that I've given you guys some time to create your um, your stacks or your graphs of this data set, we should have something that looks like this. Let's see. Back it up. There we go. Okay, here is my data set from the given scores. So now that you guys have completed your graphs, these are some questions that I need you guys to consider, okay? So how could you use these cubes to figure out the average number of goals scored per game? So as I mentioned at the beginning of this lesson, um, the synopsis of the mean or the average of a game is the total number of scores divided by how many games, right? Okay, so how could you use these cubes? Easily, you could count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, okay, divided by how many games do we have? We had six games. So that should be an easy calculation for you guys. Six divided by 18 is three. So their average goals scored per game is three, okay? Now, what does the mean mean? What's the, over, what the overall lesson was supposed to be, right? What does this mean? So that means their scores are all over the place. Within six games, their first score, they had one. Their first game, they had one score, right? And then they had six, which is a big jump. So their, their mean, their average, 
is the overall of what could be expected that they could win each game. Okay? That is what the mean means. Okay. So now that we kind of have an idea of what we're looking for, uh, we're going to move on to our another activity um, where you guys are going to be creating your own data set. So you should each have two dice. And with those two dice, you're going to take turns with your partner and you're going to roll the dice and you need to write down what number it lands on, how many times out of six rolls. Okay, so you each get six rolls. How many numbers are there on a dice? There's six. One through six. It's a six-sided dice, okay? So when you're rolling, keep score, and then we're going to organize this information, the data that you guys have both done, and you're going to create another graph and find the mean. That is your assignment, okay?